So ho 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 named ho ho ho. Hi everybody, I'm some guy named Nate. We're it's uh it's winter holiday time and uh I'm playing this crap. So if you guys don't know, last year I played the uh, GBA version, I played Polar Express in the GBA and it was a laugh and a half, so I'm just gonna go right in and play the PS2 version, which I hear is equally terrible. Let's see. I, I was I had a funny name last time with Smanta sixty nine, but I can't do numbers here right now. Um, let's do Clampo. I like Clampo. Oops, I missed that O. Oh. Clampo Claus. It's his cousin. Who nobody realized was... Okay, Campo, Clampo CL. Clampaco. Go. And all the cutscenes are movie cutscenes. Oh, God. I can't skip them. Okay, now I can skip them. Okay, hopefully Warner Brothers doesn't get too pissed. Look at them all having fun over here. I'm going to turn up the gameplay a little, guys, because it's pretty dang quiet. Santa. Yeah, yeah, I already know that joke, Santa, Brutal Moose. They never reach the North Pole. And they won't reach the North Pole if they don't have tickets for the Polar Express. <laughs> and they'll never It's weird how it just drops you right on the train instead of any build up or anything. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs like Dark Side Phil. Alright, part one. Isn't that wonderful? You know what kind of train this is? I'm glad that they got him. They got Mandark himself to be the, the voice of the kid. You know what else is weird? The One of the dumbest tidbits about anything Tom Hanks related is Tom Hanks' brother sound like, sounds like him like almost like, like 90% or whatever. So whenever there's a game that involves Tom Hanks' voice or a TV show or a side project, they just get his brother. If we don't find our tickets, we're all going to get kicked off the train. It's standard procedure, you know? Yeah, if you get kicked off the train, it's fine. It just lands like somewhere in New Jersey or something. You're not gonna end up in New Jersey. Okay. It's fine. That's the worst place you can land. They might not be able to find that I secretly want to go to New Jersey. What's she saying? Okay. If you guys are having a happy holiday season, tell me what you are getting in the comments below or what your wish list is. Also, big shout out to my friend Brittany for the thumbnail. You're the best. I have talented friends. Yet I have no talent. Okay. So we start off here in the train cart. Press the R1 button to flip the camera. Oh. Okay, so that's a whole button. Ooh, secret money. You have found a coin. Every 20 coins gives you an extra continue. Sweet. Dude, this is the floatiest child I've ever seen. This is the floatiest child that I ever done saw. Floatier than any other game I've ever played. Also, guys, I'm planning 2020 to be one of the beefiest... Ooh, I can double jump. This kid had... Nope, I guess that was just a fluke. Oh, this is the end of the train. This was just the money... The money carriage. Oh. Oh, you found part of the toy. Find all parts of the toy to unlock bonus features. Sweet. That's probably not going to happen since those are all hidden. I was just being stupid and I decided to go to the back of the carriage. Because I'm having fun. Okay, I thought I wrote the kids out for a second. I'm running, you guys enjoy your hot chocolate. Scrooge is stirring up trouble. Oh, that's his name? He's convinced some of the other toys to help him. Uh-oh. Uh, be careful as you move through the car. Those kids are relying on you. Okay. Can I attack? Can I attack? I don't know. Oh, crap. Dude, what the hell? Dude, this kid controls really bad. Okay. I want the other coin. I don't want that other coin. Okay, we're good. Oh, hey, cool. I fell through the geometry there. Did you see that? No! My flashlight is clipping through my hand. Don't be afraid. If we go in there together, it won't be so scary. It's not scary, it's just creepy toys. How many movies are about... Oh, lots of them, sorry. 
Look at our mid 2000s technology flashlight when there's a weird dot in the middle. You hold the flashlight. That's one thing that I'll have to admit. Technology. I'm glad you guys aren't researching cancer or like AIDS or anything. You're free. you figured out how to make the best flashlights. I always have to over enunciate that. Search with Jack in the Boxes to find this boy's ticket. Okay. There's an old square to wind up the Jack in the Boxes. I can't reach the handle from here. Obviously, this isn't gonna have it. Yep. So scary. Get out of the way, you fat fuck. Okay. Okay. We're gonna push Tubby out of the way. Is it this one? No. That wasn't the one. Oh, the secret. Cool, that looks like a chunk of a sword. Oh my god. Hero boy. What are you doing? Oh. I bet you're the last one in the hall does. Oh no, he's getting out of here. You need the flashlight to continue to go talk to the boy. Okay. Where is he even? I'm trying. I'm trying my fucking artist. Hey, it's okay, we're friends here. I can't open the toys without you. Yeah, you can. I don't want to go back in there. But you want to meet Santa, right? They're not even gonna, they're only gonna show his face for like 0.2 seconds. I'll give it one more shot. That's the only thing I don't like about, uh... About the Polar Express is how little you actually get to see of... Uh, of Santa. Why is it playing creepy music? Okay. Okay. I'm trying, everybody. Oh, this door's locked until we find the stupid thing. Too bad I didn't freaking beat this game before. Too dark. Oh, that's why. And he's got a stupid scarometer. I'm glad. There we go. You have to activate all of them, don't you? There you go. There's your dumb ticket, you dumb idiot. You like that, huh? Alright, let me flip the camera around with these weird-ass controls. I can sometimes double jump. Oh, I'm just gonna go back. Look, I found his ticket! I'm almost dead! But I found his ticket! Hooray! Dead. You have five continues remaining. I just want the tickets. Poor, 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 poor man. Did it? Oh my god, why did it flip the camera around? Hey Vince, you're probably going to get another free game. Because again guys, if you don't know, I gave my GBA copy of uh, Polar Express to Vince. I don't know if that was really a good thing or not. Poor Vince, you got a terrible game. Can I use the D-pad? I can also use the D-pad. Ow. Double ow, what the, what the fuck? Here's this idiot, can I talk to him again? Oh, I have to collect it, I'm dumb. It doesn't auto-collect, I have to step on it. Yeah, I did, you could've easily found it too. No, we found it together. We I used teamwork. Help, but hurry back before the conductor starts. It's a darn shame I had to buy this game twice. <laughs> to buy it on the GBA, buy it on the PS2, buy it on the Hulu, buy it on the Kinalu. There you go. Now this door is open. Kick the soccer ball. Okay, Scrooge's puppets have the key. Trap of the puppets to find the key. And because I've watched Oni plays and Brutal Moose, I know how to do this. Give me that. Weird bitch. Aww. And then you hit the target. Yay! Are there ones on this side too? Take this. Alright. Ooh, a toy part. 
I just like the soccer kicking though. Come on. Hey, I found a toy park. Dude, that looks exactly like the other toy park. You know what's really funny? How he grunts. So close. I like just kicking. I wanna do some kicking. Well, let's get the ice key. I'm the oh no, come on. Good. There we go. He got the key. I got the keys, keys, keys. Bandark, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing here? What are you that's what I was gonna ask you, bitch. Look for your ticket. Obviously. I know where my ticket is. There's a gang of nasty puppets in there, and they've refused to give it back. What? I'm not afraid of some old puppets. Oh no, if all only I had a, a way to stop him. Look at all the food in here. It's really funny, there was like a really like one of those like nostalgic posts kind of a thing, and it was like the watching Polar Express and school starter kit. And it's really depressing because it's exactly what my school did. Food fight. Pick up the food from the tables and throw them at the puppets to defeat them. You'll need to defeat all of them. Okay. Oh, square. Okay. Okay, I got this. Oh, crap. Circle the duck? Yep. Perfect. Stand back up, you bitch. But no, it's true though, because like every school that watched the Polar Express, all they did was they served hot chocolate to ya. Because that was really original. And uh, my school did that too, apparently, which is hilarious. Got him! I do want that ticket. I'm killing all your puppets. Dude, this section is going on so long. They, they did so many mechanics to this game just to, uh, like, put them in there every so often. Okay. I got tons of food, bitch. Nice. Oh, you got more food, eh? Oh, crap, no! I gotta find those tickets. Come on. You have to get past my puppets if you want that ticket. Bad that I have to do the whole boss fight again. And it's not an HD. It's just four puppets all on the same side. That's the way you want it. Come on, another puppet. Thank you. Get him. <laughs> this is a food battle. I don't like the one that you were expecting, but it's okay. I'm wasting lots of food. Okay, it's like the, it reminds me of that stupid mini game in the Three Stooges NES slash GBA game because for some reason they had to port that. Okay, I'm just gonna throw it out. Got it. Oh. Dude, I, oh no, I was like, I'd be like, oh, I haven't got a hit yet. Dude, what the fuck? You puppets can kiss my ass. Yes, I do want the ticket. Come on. I swear. Oh, crap. Here we go. Hooray. I was so close to beating that puzzle in the first place, too. Oh, no, one of the coins disappeared. Uh, too bad, Mandark, it happened. I need to throw all your shit. Here's your ticket. Well, thanks for helping me get my ticket back. If I were you, I'd be getting out of here now before the cook finds out what you did with all that food. Good idea. Uh, yeah, I am. Tasty. Look at all this bread. See ya. I want to live on an alternate timeline when this game was on the Dreamcast. That would have been funny. Who would play that game? I would play that game. So that was chapter one, and we did it in 14 minutes. That's not too bad. I like how loud the train is. No! Right, you have to run all the way to the front of the train to do that. And meet two idiots and shovel coal to a rhythm minigame. I'll stop the train with my bare face. 
Whoa! Something's honking. Is it my PS2? PS2, are you okay? <laughs> PS2, I promise we'll play a much more fun game. As soon as we're done with these two terrible Christmas games, Mr. PS2, we're gonna play some fun crap on you. Also, I totally forgot that I have my PS1 memory card still in my PS2. So I have to put that in my PS1. I only want one PS1 memory card, isn't that weird? You're a little bitch! <laughs> Dark Side Scrooge is gonna take you out. And bitches, stop texting me. Scrooge is blocking your exit. Kick his ass. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! He's like, no! Whoa! Give me the ball. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so he's all, he's got like the same hits I do. <laughs> hey, drop this one. Good strat. He says, no! There you go, he got killed. Dead. He got killed him. I killed you have defeated Scrooge. Hurry to the passengers and pull that brake. Or the Okay, there's nothing over here. I was expecting there to be a freaking toy part. Really? That was that whole chapter? Okay. Sounds good. I'll fry my memory card by saving 50 times. Oh, movie got seen. Oh crap. Oh crap. I can't skip it. Come on. There we go. Here I am. I wonder Don't where mind me. tickets are. I don't know where the tickets are. You tell me, hero boy. What's this? Oh, it's a platter. Oh, mini game time. All this game is is a bunch of mini games. It's like, wait, who made this? THQ? It's like they had a whole bunch of other assets lying around. And they're like, what the hell do we do for the the Polar Express game? Uh, how about dodging and tennis and pong? It'll be great. First to five points wins. Cool. Do I get to serve first? Who's serving? Or square to serve. Deal. Oh, crap. Oh, that hit a toy part. I was like, did the game freeze? Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, they should, they should get that. There you go. It's almost like this game is for little babies. Come on. Ba 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 Oh shit. Ugh. And I'm also hating a lot of stuff in life right now, so I'm sorry that I haven't recorded much content. It's super duper early. It's super duper early right now, and the controls in this are terrible. I don't know if you guys can hear me rapidly clicking these buttons. And how did you hit that at that angle? There you go, an hour two for three. But no, uh, life's been beating the crap out of me, so I'm sorry if I mm, if I haven't been recording a bunch, but I'm promising to make 2020 a great year for any content. So I hope you'll enjoy, too. Especially, uh, especially for Versus. Like, I want to make the Versuses next year amazing. The problem is, the only person I can play a Versus against is Vince, which is fine, because a lot of people love the dynamic between Vince and I, which I do, too. Very good comedy dynamic. How I'm just a stupid spaz, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm serious. I have to get, I have to collect this item." And then I'm like, "Pop culture reference." That's our that's our dynamic. So I'm hoping I've pitched a few ideas for no. I pitched a few ideas to Vince about the next versuses. So I hope you guys will stick with and watch those. The end of the SpongeBob versus when I edited it was pretty sad. Because one of the last two parts, Vince's footage corrupted. And at that point, I took so damn long that he deleted his raw footage off of his computer. So we couldn't recover any of it. Which is fine. He said, grrr. I like how sometimes he can run at 50 miles an hour. And other times, he's just a slow poke. I'm more of a slow bro kind of guy. Hit the middle. Man, the 90s were good. I like how frickin' my, my good friend Tai G had to make me frickin' nostalgic and depressed at the same time. Remember, kids, the difference between nostalgia and uh, depression is years. 
Oh crap. Because all of, like the 90s like references that everybody makes are always the same and it bums me the hell out. It's like the 90s was described by like fucking three things. Oh, frosted tips, plaid, boy bands. Shit. But then some people actually, like Ty, actually pull out things that I totally forgot about that are awesome, which is good. Oh crap, get out of here. Yes. Oh, You're gonna go right over there. I like how he says grr, though. It's really funny. So after I kick this guy's ass, that'll call it an episode, guys. I don't know how many parts this is gonna take. Hopefully 12. That's how I'm planning it out with the 20 minute parts. At least I got money! Shit. I guess what, scrub? Oh no, I didn't want to shoot it that way. By the way, guys, I have literally zero control about where the ball bounces. It's just where the game decides to bounce the, the ball. As you can see. Oh my god. You see? I shot it all the way over there and it decided to like curve it towards him. This mini game sucks. This t see, in that time he didn't even move towards it. In that time I shot it to the middle when I could have easily spiked it to the left. I didn't do that. But no, uh, I'm probably going to remove this from my collection and give it to Vince. And I'm at 4 and 4 again. This is, a, this is hard. I bet this is harder than the final boss. There isn't really a final boss in this, it's just the it's the blimp again. When we get to go see Santa, no! On the next installment, I am going to kick this guy's ass finally. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next Scrooge.